Assalamu alaikum. My name is Malik Nidmul Siraj and I am here to record another lecture of Data Communication Networks. Uh, in today's class, we are going to discuss about File Transfer Protocol. Uh, before today's class, we talked about HTTP Protocol and uh, it's working in detail. Um, so, uh, let's start FTP Protocol, which is another application layer protocol that we are going to discuss in today's class. FTP is a file transfer protocol. This protocol is used to transfer a file between uh, two devices. Uh, one we device we call as a server, other device we call as a client. Yet this protocol uses a client-server architecture instead of peer-to-peer -peer architecture. Uh, so uh, in client-server architecture, we already know that there is a server which is always on, which listens on a particular port. There is a client uh, which actually uh, uh, connects to the server on, on, on that port. So uh, uh, it's a file transfer protocol to or from the remote host. Uh, you can either transfer a file uh, to the client or you or the client is able to upload a file on the server. So you can store a file on the client side or you can upload a file on the server side. So a client server model, client actually client side initiates the transfer either to or from the uh, from remote server so uh, uh, we already know this thing the client server architecture server is on the listening mode it is the responsibility of a client to actually connect to the server and then uh, uh, once a client is connected to the server so it sends the protocol messages to actually perform its job in case of an http it sends the http message in case of ftp it is sending an ftp uh, messages to actually perform the ftp jobs uh, and those are the transfer of files from one server to another from one location to another location so uh, ftp actually uh, uh, the detail of ftp protocol is present in rfc document 959 i already talked uh, this thing about uh, i already talked this thing you guys uh, RFC stands for request for comments and uh, uh, this is the one of the document uh, 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 that is uh, I'm, I'm telling you uh, which contains the detailed information of file transfer protocol FTP it's uh, 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 RFC 959 this document was uh, is there uh, since 18 since 1985 so this document is written in, in that date so it means that uh, this protocol is very a very old protocol that is used to actually transfer a file from one system to another. There is another thing which is FTP actually, uh, uh, since we talked about this thing that in client server architecture, server is always on the listen mode. So server, uh, this protocol uses uh, uh, TCP from a TCP protocol from the transport layer protocol uh, and uh, it is listening on port number 21 of the TCP port. Same is uh, that we talked about in case of FT, uh, HTTP protocol that it listens on port 80 and HTTPS protocol listens on port 443. Similarly, the FTP protocol listens, FTP server actually li uh, listens on port 21 so that the client actually tries to establish a connection with the server on port 21. So this is how uh, FTP works. Uh, the FTP client contacts uh, FTP server at port 21. So it sends our request to the FTP server on port 21 uh, using TCP transmission control protocol client authorized over the control connection. So if there is an authorization required that is username and password that authorization is actually client sends those authorization requests uh, on uh, port 20 uh, on control connection that is established on port 21 client browsers uh, client browses remote directory send commands over the control connections once you establish a connection server authenticate the client then client can browse uh, the ftp directory uh, it can transfer a file from the ftp server to its local directory or it can upload a file from its local directory to the FTP server. When the server receives the file transfer command, server opens second TCP uh, data connection for file transfer. Once uh, it re uh, server receives a request to transfer a file, uh, then uh, server opens another data connection for the tra to transfer a file. 
the control connection is always there and that is uh, for uh, the control messages uh, and uh, transfer of file is on, on the uh, data connection after transmission one file server closes the data connection once the file is transferred server closes the connection in this example it shows that the client connects to the server on port number 21 whereas server is connected uh, to the client on port number 20 so it's not always actually it is using port 20 it can be used it can use any random port it depends on which methodology uh, ftp uses it's act it is using an active or passive we will talk about those things once we are talking about the working working of protocol uh, in wireshark so server opens another tcp data connection to transfer another file control connection out of band out of band we call a connection out of band uh, FT, uh, uh, control connection and data connection because they are using they are, they are using separate connection for control and data okay for one connection they are using control connection that is on port number 21 and they are using in this example they are using a data connection of port number 20 so these are the two separate connection that's why they are called as out of band ftp server maintains states current directory and a real authentication uh, as we talked about in case of uh, HTTP uh, server, HTTP protocol do not maintain any state. So HTTP server do not maintain any state. They can maintain uh, that man it can maintain a state using cookies. Whereas uh, in case of FTP protocol, FTP server maintains a state. Uh, so it it knows about the current directory, which directory may authentication VVA, and uh, there are many other things that it is maintaining. Uh, in that state information, that, that information as a state. So there are simple commands that uh, once you are connected, once you establish an FTP connection with the server, you can use those commands to actually uh, browse uh, on the server and uh, download a file and do some other uh, some other things that FTP protocol allows you. Uh, this example user command is used for the username that you provide to the server pass command is used to provide password uh, once our request for the password of this username so you send a command pass and then you type the password so uh, it accepts that kind. list returns the list of a file in the current directory uh, you want to explore the uh, current uh, uh, folders and the file in the current working directory where you are present on the server so you type the command list it tells you about the current working directory of that uh, uh, RETER file name it retrieves the, or gets the file name it download this command actually downloads a file from the remote server to the client similarly STOR store file name this command actually uploads a file from the local directory to the server there are simple sample codes uh, as in case of as we talked about in case of HTTP there are status codes in case of FTP there are status codes too example 331 username okay password required once you provide a username and the username is present on the list so it sends you this status code 331 what it mean it means that uh, username is okay and password required 125 data connection already open transfer starting okay, uh, uh, this this is what there are many other different uh, status codes that you can talk about uh, uh, that you can see in this uh. now let's see detail of ftp protocol in wireshark uh, so uh, once you want to see the detail of ftp protocol in wireshark you need to find out uh, some open ftp server so that you can actually connect uh, to those ftp server uh, so what I did is I actually uh, googled uh, and I find out multiple FTP server and one such server is uh, ftp.dlp.test.com uh, so it is open you can use this username and password to actually uh, test a connection with that FTP server and experience uh, how FTP work uh, second uh, this is uh, this is the server so uh, I also need a client to that client actually connect to the FTP server as we talked about this thing. So one is the FTP server, other entity is the FTP client. So we already, uh, I already told you about the FTP server, the one that is an FTP server, it's an open FTP server, you can connect to it. Uh, so I need an FTP client. Uh, in my system, I have already installed, I'm already working with the utility, uh, its name is WinSCP, WinSCP. This uh, application actually provides an uh, FTP client uh, and many other clients or different applications. You can download that application, just you need to Google 
and you can easily download that with SAP application which actually helps you to establish an FTP connection uh, with that web server so once you open that you need to change uh, 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 SFTP is a secure file transfer protocol so now right now we are testing FTP so I just click on FTP I need to provide a host name username and password port is already I know my port is already 21 that is uh, connected on this thing so uh, that is a control connection on FTP so I need to provide the host name I just need to copy this uh, domain name so uh, I just Okay, I'm just copying uh, that domain name. I'm copying the user uh, username of that FTP server that I can test. Similarly, I need to copy the password of that FTP server. I'm using it for testing purposes for this uh, for this class six. Now, before establishing a connection, uh, I also need to open Wireshark so that I can capture all the detail uh, packet level detail that uh, is there once I am establishing a connection with that FTP server so I go to the capture and then option I select Wi-Fi and then I click on start so it start capturing the data uh, on my Wi-Fi interface I go to uh, this uh, WinSCP client and then I, I am actually going to click on login so it is trying to establish a connection with that FTP server so now my connection is established that means uh, I am actually capturing I have already captured uh, the detail of how connection is established using FTP protocol uh, now this is that FTP uh, server in which that has multiple files I can I have already retrieved those files now if I want to copy a file from that FTP server I just click on uh, this file and I just using a drag and drop methodology it is going to copy that file on my desktop so this file is already copied here so this is I am, I am actually copying a file so let's go back and then stop the uh, uh, Wireshark and also I'm going to close uh, my FTP connection with that server so uh, because I am I'm, I'm no longer using that so now uh, <coughs> I need to actually identify all the all, all, all I need to identify my traffic that I am uh, 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 that is used to actually connect an FTP uh, uh, server with my system so for that uh, uh, I know uh, since I am using a domain name which is the URL uh, which is the domain name of which is fkduin uh, of uh, FTP server so first of all uh, what happened uh, from my system is I need to find out the IP address of that uh, so if I go to the Wireshark it means that my system first of all sends our DNS query to that domain so let's try to identify those packets by identifying a by, uh, by actually identifying a DNS query that is sent for specific that packet and from that we can identify the IP address of that domain name so these are the DNS queries that my uh, system actually captures and from these DNS queries uh, this is the DNS query that my system sent uh, because of uh, on on the DNS server and that is for the uh, ftp.dlptest.com and this is the response of that DNS server and it says that this is the IP address sorry uh, it says that uh, this is the IP address of that uh, IP address of ftp.dlptest.com uh, so it means that um, uh, since we already know that uh, the FTP uses TCPs to establish a connection and one more thing uh, so my system actually tries to establish a connection on this IP address but we know that for TCP connection to establish I need a port or destination port 
since we know this thing that FTP uses uh, uh, TCP and port is 21 port. So FTP server listens on 20, 21 port. So my system tries to establish a connection on this IP address at a port number of uh, 21. So let's see that thing. Uh, if I omit the DNS security uh, filter and I click on enter and uh, I will again find out that packet DNS query. this is the DNS query that my system sent and this is the response that is coming from that so uh, I can easily identify that this is the IP address of my system then that I, my system actually tries to establish a connection with that server which on the IP address of 35.209.241.59 so it sent a SYN request then the server sent a SYN plus ACK request Okay. and then my system is sending an uh, ACK request this actually completes a three-way handshake once three-way handshake is completed then this is the message that the server is sending on my system now let's focus on FTP so we actually captured the FTP uh, we actually arrived at the FTP protocol and those messages that are sent from my system or from the remote system on the FTP protocol. So uh, we already seen how DNS query is resolved uh, and the IP address that came from the DNS query and then uh, uh, the uh, how TCP handshake is performed uh, from the uh, that FTP server. Now let's focus on FTP protocol with the pro uh, uh, itself. So if you look into this thing, uh, if, if you look into this thing, we can easily identify that uh, this is the message that is coming from that FTP server and it is a response and it says that please upload your web uh, files to the public HTML note that this is and this is a some some response. So my system is then sending a, uh, uh, sending a message to the server and it says user DLP user at DLP test.com. This is the username that my system is sending on that FTP server and using a command called user. So we already talked about that user is a command which is used to send a username. Okay. And then my system actually sent the password uh, for that user. Uh, but before that server actually sends this message to the client that 3331 username okay password required so if you look into this thing this sends uh, this is a message from my system to FTP server which says this is the username server send a response which is 331 user this okay and password required so my system uses a pass command to send a password so it says password this is the password so once uh, the, uh, this password is sent, so server send a response that this is a restricted user and a restricted directory. You they have added a constraint on bandwidth, and they can add those things. So let's not focus on this thing. Now the other message that my system sent is uh, SYST. Now there are different other messages that my system is sending uh, to that FTP server. Let's find out the detail of those messages. FTP messages that my system is sending. So the first request that my system sends is SYST. What is SYST? Let's go there and then open this. Uh, this is a file which is uh, hosted by Wikipedia and uh, 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 this has all the list of FTP commands. So the command is SYST. Let's say. So it says return the system type. So once my system sends this request to a server the server respond with its system type the type of system so let's see and find out the response of that it's uh, so this is a command that is sent from my system to the server and the server send a response that it is using a unix system so this is the response of a server uh, uh, it is using a unix system okay this is one of the system it is it can be Windows or it can be Unix, it can be Linux. So it is using, it says that it is using a Unix system. So a uh, next request my system is sending is FE80. So what is FE80? Let's see FE80. So FE80 is the get the feature list implemented by the server. So in this, 
server actually respond to this message by sending the list of features that server is implementing so i'm not telling you the detail of those features we are not going in detail so uh, the response of this message is extension supported these are the extensions that are the features supported there by the server so it is sending all those features to the uh, client uh, request opts so what is opts select option features for example opts book is format code this is using the format so utf uh, uh, he told k it is using a utf then pwd what is pwd pwd actually tells you the current working directory print the uh, working directory returns the current uh, directory of the host so it is telling you the current directory of the host and this is the current directory location so it is the root location it tells you this is the root location of the current directory so then it says type uh, a uh, so what is type type you can already see you can see t y p e uh, types is set the transfer mode transfer mode is binary or ascii form so you can set the transfer mode so it says uh, ascii form type a is the ascii maybe should be is the uh, binary form maybe and then it sends a request which is a PASV. What is PASV? PASV is uh, enter passive mode. So it is entering in a passive mode. Uh, uh, on my system is entering uh, passive mode on that FTP server. What is passive mode? So I go and find out. Uh, <clears throat> unless you configure your uh, unless you configure your FTP server differently, you will normally set your command channel to use FTP port twenty one. Okay, uh, the FTP port you will use for the data channel on other hand can be different depending upon which data transfer mode you choose. Okay, for the data transfer mode, you can choose a different port. If you choose an active mode, then the data channel will normally be port 20. If if it is chosen, if my system chooses uh, data uh, active mode, then data channel uses port 20 for uh, TCP. But it uh, but if you choose this passive mode, then the port will be used. Uh, the uh, the uh, random port will be used. Okay, so it depends upon how you are making establish a connection. So it, it for data port, it is it can be port twenty or any random port. It depends on uh, which mode you use. So uh, here we use a passive mode. So a random uh, uh, port is can be used for data transfer. It's not port twenty. MLST. Uh, what is MLST? So it sends another command which is MLST. MLST. Sorry. So list of the content of the directory. Uh, uh, so it's it tells you the list of the current uh, directory directory. Me jo bhi list padi hai, wo aapke paas aa jayegi. And then type a. So. Uh, so now this is the command my system is sending uh, so uh, what i did is i copy a file which is this file from the server to my system i downloaded that file so uh, r e t r r e t r so it is using a command uh, sorry r e t r retrieve uh, retrieve is a retrieve a copy of a file so uh, using this command my system is retrieving this copy from the server to my system so this is uh, this file is downloaded from the server on my system so it's accept the data connection and then it says file is fully transferred so obviously it closes the connection so it opens the connection it transfers the file and then it closes the connection so please let me know if you have any other query Thank you.